once upon a time, you know, you had folks that were, you had like libertarians, you had conservatives who were hell bent on, in, let's say, insisting that you could win people over with ideas alone. Just by having the better idea. Your idea is better than them and the best ideas will prevail. And that works to an extent when you're dealing with reasonable, reasonable people, excuse me. But right now, when we talk about the cultural rot that we have right now, we are dealing with unreasonable people who are then influenced by other unreasonable people. So when people were turning a blind eye for decades to the cultural not even institutions, just culture and subcultures in general. You have people that would say either this stuff doesn't matter. Who cares? It's all about the idea, stuff like that. And what unfortunately happened is you allowed a bunch of leftists to infiltrate things where they, they were, we can say that they're stupid and they are, they don't have the ideas on their side, but they were at minimum smart enough to understand that they didn't need the ideas just by simply capturing things that people cling to culturally and the actions of the individuals who were reasonable took that place, took where they were at societally, took where they were at culturally for granted. And they allowed them to hijack it, to, to hijack all of that. Cool. The problem that I have, and this is to me, to me to turn a mirror, even on not just myself, but the other audience, because the, the, with, with my audience, because this is where, you know, you have to acknowledge harsh realities in order to change things for the better. OK, and that is that maybe we should have been paying all the stuff. Definitely like you got boomer cons who act like video games and all these things just didn't matter. Right. Because they were above it all. Right. Men shouldn't be doing stuff like that. I guess they should be in the woods chopping trees and, um, and that's it. You know what I mean? And they allowed an entire generation of people to be influenced with free reign by these degenerates. And now it's so bad because you're still in that line of thinking. You have it to, where, to the point to where a lot of people, just because they're going through the motions, feel as if they have to offer their kids to Caesar. An example of that, the public education system. If you don't think that is a primary like tool and vehicle for the authoritarian social justice left, you are out of your mind. It has been for a while, but it couldn't be any more obvious right now. Some people drop them off willingly there. Wonder why the hell do they come out the way that they do? When you see that the youth is trending one way, you wonder why you don't think all of these youth that are trending towards whether it be with all this sexuality nonsense or they trend towards all of this uh, like socialistic stuff. You don't think a lot of those guys have, I don't know, conservative parents, maybe libertarian parents. A lot of them do, of course. But where is it that they're going where they're, you don't raise them, the state does, where they get these terrible ideas. And then you encourage them to go, even if they don't have to, depending on what career path that they want to choose, to the advanced indoctrination camp, which we know almost is exclusively ran by leftists. And, you know, instead of addressing the problem, we make excuses for it. Well, I have this, this and this going on. So I can't bother to raise my children. Someone else needs to do that. Um, I have an addiction problem and I can't wean myself off of voluntarily, let's say voluntary entertainment. Disney. As an example, which I've continued to say of all the mega corporations and they are suffering economically right now, but not enough. But of all the mega corporations that is easiest to deal with, it's Disney because they don't own and operate anything that you need. Then they don't like have your phone plans. They don't like uh, run your Internet. They don't. Uh, there's no Disney um, services that you need and require to eat, breathe, live, and be a functioning member of wherever you're at. That does not exist for Disney. So if of all companies that should have been able to definitely once they drew their line in the sand on this children's stuff, 
of all the companies that should have been able to be eliminated, the number one one, the first one, the top one should have been Disney. And still you have people that make excuses for consuming that stuff because leftists don't fund you. The authoritarian social justice left don't fund you, but you fund them. That's the, that's the core differentiation there. So we look at where we're at right now. Okay. Where again, as I mentioned earlier, we are at a place where people defend and promote child mutilation. Some will gaslight and say that it doesn't exist, right? Nobody's getting a, a, a you know top surgery that doesn't exist. Irreversible damage does not exist. They're being done to children, minors, despite us knowing factually that's exactly what's happening. And then you have the others say, and they try to weaponize self-harm. This is how narcissistic and how evil these pieces of crap are. Well, they try to weaponize self-harm and say that you must you must, because a kid is being dysmorphia or dysphoria, they have some sort of problem. They think that there's something that they're not. Instead of allowing them to make a decision as an adult, you say that we must do this. Give them the puberty blockers. Give them the, the double mastectomies. As a minor, and you have people defending and promoting and acting as if it's okay. That's cultural rot. That's degeneracy. And that shows that, guys, we have a lot of work to do. Okay? It's not just about getting involved. And this is the thing that's going to be even more of a harsh reality because it's not about just, because I think there's a lot of milk toast people who present themselves as the contrarian or the antithesis of what's happening and present themselves as a solution. When really all they're doing is feeding in to the status quo, right? These institutions don't need to be revised or reformed. They need to be completely ended. Okay. They need to be stripped economically, not by the state, but by voluntary actions. Not trying to go in and get short people. No, no, no. They need to be gone. They are rotten to the core. You deal with it as such and may from the ashes rise alternatives in every facet of life. Okay. But in order to do that, you have to engage culturally instead of acting because it's not something that you give a crap about. It doesn't matter. And that's what I tried to do a better job of. in let's say the last five years and recognizing, and I used to do speeches on this stuff a lot. Guys, if you guys know me back, you know, during the 2010s, especially when I would do like public engagements and public speaking uh, gigs all the time. And I'd always talk about culture and like your influence and your level of influence starts right there. And just because let's say I am not into that culture subculture that you're into does not mean that it doesn't matter does not mean that it isn't influential okay it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that at all but you're necessary you're needed and to stop acting as if the issues are going to fix themselves worse acting like the government's going to come save you from this we are living in a world where people are defending child mutilation, gaslighting you and acting like it's not happening. And then even the ones that they pretend is re are reversible ain't reversible. Imagine having someone at the age where their body is going through all these sorts of changes and you're giving them medication. And I use that term loosely. That can alter and change the way that is happening at that age. And you think, well, it's reversible grown women, people that have actually gone through puberty, grown women can take a steroid, right? And it will change their voice for the rest of their life. Like and of all, you, you, you take that stuff. It could, it could, it could deepen horse in your voice and there's no return. If you get off the cycle, it doesn't change. 
What on earth makes you think, and that's just an example, what on earth that you make, makes you think that just everything is just, there's no medical consequence and, the, and nothing's, uh, it's just not, it's all, it, it just stop taking the puberty blockers and then everything's fine. That's not how it works. And the gaslighting you, expecting you not to have that information. These degenerate freaks need to be opposed culturally. And I think that the problem is easier to deal with than I think people give them credit for, give themselves credit for. Because the intention of the black pill, let's say this of it all, is that people think that, well, we got to this point and there's no turning back. That's bogus. Just as quick as it got bad, it can get better. But it's going to require people to look within themselves and see. It doesn't matter if you're a public figure or you're just a regular Joe Blow. But looking at your own actions and how you lend credit to the status quo and trying to alter and change those actions. That's the only way that we get on the other side of this. Okay. And it can happen, but it's not going to happen by, by people just thinking that someone else is going to correct a problem. It's going to come from you guys. It's going to come from regular people, myself, you, and everybody else out there in order to rid this geogra geographical area of the cultural rot that we have to the point, to the point to where people are defending and promoting child mutilation which is something that I would have I would have never thought that we would have been we would have been uh, experiencing but yet here we are If you enjoyed this video and want to support other content please become a member at ericdjuly.com This is my own unique platform that replaced my Patreon our Ultra Max, which is our highest tier, gets free shipping domestically even with Ripperverse orders and are able to redeem the Creator's Edition copy of ISOM number one. You can move up and down tiers or cancel at any time. Also visit Ripperverse.com. This is my comic book company that launched a $3.7 million campaign. We appreciate your support.